lost their skin. Okay. Up, up. 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 Up, I found out the news yesterday at 10 a.m. when a fire marshal showed up at the spot, demanding to be let in and investigate the area, to which they deemed unsafe. Uh, so, and you know what's all going to Holy Underground already? It's just the photo stuff, right? I think it's every, the uh, table. everything in the trailer. Is there anything? I feel like the only way to like fight back gentrification is to buy land, especially as a black artist and a black creative. Like, there aren't too many spots for us anymore. Ironic because we are Baltimore. Like, this is a predominantly black city. It doesn't change the fact that this is gentrified. The majority of Baltimore citizens are black, which brings artists, which brings painters, which brings R&B singers, rappers, ballet dancers, and we need spaces like Bell Foundry. I don't. I, I don't feel that this is in context of um, ghost ship in Oakland. I feel this is the Baltimore city um, responding to the racial dynamics here and the uh, other marginal, uh, marginalized identities like the queer and trans safe space component of this and wanting us out of here or devaluing our space generally. The number of spaces in any way similar to this in this city, you can count on one hand. And the Bell Foundry being one of the longer running of those. So, um, it's something that I'm, I'm just feeling very destabilized right now. Um, a lot of my networks intersect here. Yesterday we had a fire marshal show up at 10 a.m. Actually, while we were discussing uh, the fire safety of our artist studio space, and uh, within an hour, I'd say, maybe five uh, you know, commanders or something of the fire department were here then a building inspector, and then we were told that though apparently we had four hours warning, uh, we had one hour to vacate the premises with our belongings. Uh, the whole time, a member of the fire department kept saying over and over again, if you didn't live there, why are you worried about having to vacate the premises? Somehow, as if this is like not a tremendous inconvenience to somebody's life. Hey, vacate where you're at. There's 7,000 families that are affected by evictions uh, in a city where black women, especially black women who are the head of their household, are disproportionately affected by evictions. I started a resurrected venue and turned it into a safe space for black artists. So it means a lot to me, and it means a lot to a lot of people too. Like, I have friends who can tell you countless stories about like how this place has been a safe haven for them. Saved by the bell, you know?